Okay, so once you have the software loaded, then what you want to do is start it up and you will have the option to choose a sample movie clip or a sample project um, right off the bat. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and do that if you haven't done it already. If you did do it and didn't happen to choose the sample clip, then the way you can get to it from here is to go to the help menu and choose load sample project. And once you do, it's going to load up this project. And this is just an example of uh, the kinds of things that you can create and the kind of uh, features that are available within this program. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick little overview of this program so we can see how it works and and uh, kind of get familiar with it. And then we'll jump into actually editing. So um, what we want to do is take a look at the left side here. And this is the actual clip window. When you guys import your clips, when you import your source files and import your uh, movies from camcorders and tapes and flips and 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 everything else they're going to appear right here um, if you have multiple files then they will all appear under the file menu if you have one large file like this one is um, you can choose it and then hit scenes and what it's going to do is it's actually going to pick out all the scenes from that video clip um, so all of these 32 clips right here are in that one file just as uh, different scenes. And so what the software did is it took it apart and is now um, giving us the ability to view each one individually. Um, as you notice, as I click on these uh, videos, um, this window over here, the preview window, is actually changing. So anything that I want to view, I can simply click on here and hit play over here and it'll play and it'll show me the video clip. Um, one quick thing with the preview window here is you can resize it very easily. Um, I have it fairly large, yours might not be as large, but if you take it, um, take this little slider button up here, it will adjust the size of that window so that you can see the video bigger and um, you know emphasize the things that you're working on rather than to um, you know, have to look at it in a smaller window or something like that. So I'm going to keep it really big because I want to show it to you. Um, and let's just talk a little bit about it. One thing you want to do um, to control these clips is you'll notice that um, obviously you have the buttons right here and each time you roll over the top of them, it's going to give you a little tool tip. So it'll tell you exactly what it's going to do as you roll over it. Not only that, but it also shows us that um, if we push the L button, it will fast forward. If we push the J button, it will rewind. And if we hit the space bar, it'll play. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to use these shortcut keys. But um, what I'd like you to do right now is take your um, first, second, and third finger and put it on the L, the K, and the J keys. And what I'm going to do is leave my mouse alone and push the L button and it's going to show you that it moves forward. Now if I push the L button again, it's going to move faster. And again, even more fast. So um, the way to stop it is put your finger on the K button and that will stop it at the frame that you're landing on, that you've, uh, that you've clicked. So I'm going to go backwards now. And once again, I'm hitting J this time to go backwards and I'm just going to hit stop. And so that's how you control the movie window. And we're going to be doing a lot of that um, sort of keyboard controls just to get familiar with it. I think it's an easier way to edit rather than to try and click on these buttons and, uh, you know, play around with it that way. But anyway, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. So um, take your time and just play around with that a little bit. Um, down here we have the timeline. Um, the timeline is where all of your movie um, clips get put together to make your final video piece. So um, if you'll notice here, this is the final video for the program that you're viewing above, um, or actually from the clips that were assembled from the bin. Um, and once again, that's a this is a sample clip, so um, every time you click on a spot down here, it's also going to show up in the preview window. Um, if I hit the L button, once again, it's going to play. If I hit it again, it's going to play faster. 
And if I hit it again, it's going to play even faster. And once again, K, and that will stop it, and J, and that will rewind it. So now we're going backwards. Um, one thing uh, I want to show you is this timeline view right here. Um, these are separate views of the timeline. These are three different ways that you can look at the timeline to watch or or assemble your final movie clip. If I click on this little thumbnail uh, storyboard view, then what it does is it gives me each clip as I put them in. Um, these are not real time because the clips in actuality are all different length. And what this has done is it, ma it made every single clip the same length. This is good for me for, uh, as we start to edit the clips together because I can now see the sequence very easily. If I go back over to this other timeline view, then it's real hard for me to see what the actual video clips are without me clicking on them. So initially when I'm putting together a video, I'll start with the storyboard view until I get down to adding titles and, and effects and things like that. And then I'll switch over to the timeline view um, to sort of finish up the edit. But we'll cover all that in detail later. Um, there's another view right here. This is called the text view. And this one actually just shows you the text um, of the edits and all the clips that are in the actual project and how many times they were used and, and so forth. So um, that one's a little more advanced and we're not going to really get to that. But um, I just wanted to show you how that piece works real fast. So that's a quick little overview of the application. And um, we'll continue now with actually getting into some editing.